Josh again from the Republic Capital Management. Today, I want to quickly talk to you about proxy statements and what they are and why it's important to you as a shareholder. The SEC requires companies, publicly traded companies, to send out proxy statements to all of their shareholders ahead of shareholder meetings. Remember, as a shareholder, you have a voice in how the company is run, and these statements provide information on matters that are going to be discussed and voted on at the upcoming shareholder meeting. I have in front of me uh, on the screen here, Bank of America's 2022 shareholder statement. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of big sections on information that is, is critical um, that every shareholder should be aware of when they're voting. First and foremost is publicly traded companies have a board of directors. And in the proxy statement, you will find information on who the candidates are that are up for election to the board. You'll find information on them regarding their uh, work history, strengths and weaknesses, and contributions to the board, what committees they sit on, and uh, some brief background on how long they've been on the board, etc. The other two uh, pieces that are frequently brought up in uh, proxy statements are uh, shareholder proposals, which we see here. Uh, there's three shareholder proposals at this year's annual Bank of America shareholder meeting. There's also a couple of the standard uh, management proposals. So there's a non-binding say on pay that shareholders can vote on. Uh, say on pay is uh, feedback that shareholders are giving companies uh, based on the pay packages of senior management, which is another section you'll typically find in a proxy statement. How they're creating those uh, pay packages, what the composition of the pay packages are for the uh, executive officers. Ratification on the appointment of the independent auditor. And uh, related to that, there'll be information on the audit committee report regarding uh, their interactions with the independent auditor and the oversight of the company's financial statements. I wanted to bring all this to your attention because, you know, we see a lot of uh, corporations becoming more politically active and being aware of some of the proposals that are coming up and having your voice heard as a shareholder uh, can be a fantastic way to push back on that, not to mention to ensure that the company is being run uh, in a way that uh, benefits shareholders and, and promotes um, value creation in the long run. Thank you.